happens in the other games. So I believe it's a second game between uh, Ralph Mamedov and Boris Savchenko. And well, I'm not quite getting the yeah position, which is seemingly hard to break through for both sides. Mm, yeah, eight pawns each, and it's hard. To really, it's practically not possible to open up for either side. Mm, it's uh, well, yeah. If you ask me, it's Black who has some chances to to progress on a queen side. Well. White has practically no active ideas at all. So F4 is never an issue, it seems. And black can... Well, perhaps black can even take care of his, of his king side by playing something like queen f8, h6, king h7, and only then starting an assault on the, on the opposite side. But he decides he doesn't need it. He doesn't need it, so he... Savchenko, I mean, he went for immediate a5, a4, so moving the a pawn, then, well, it's hard to say still what is going to be Black's plan, but White seemingly has got no plan at all. f4, what a move. So the pawn sacrifice offered, and, well, what happened? I mean, knight f4, yeah, it's rook g5 on knight f4. Oh, well, so knight, <laughs> knight f4, yeah, th and, well, the thing is, like, it's, you don't want to capture on f4 with the knight because of rook g5, because it's, no, he does, and then it's rook g5, so now it's a moment of truth, because, well, there is, yeah, in this position, nothing is threatened, but Boris bravely takes, so now it's check on h6, Check on h6, king f8, then check on h8, king e7, knight f5, king to e6, and no more checks. Yeah, it's interesting what... Well, there is a, there is a chance that white can allow himself to play rook g1. That's what precisely what he does. So rook g1, and what do you do? Out of from... Well, there, there might be some threats on uh, with uh, connect with knight h6 but there is also a simple threat of capturing your four and then it's gonna be just an extra exchange and yeah well it, it's not so pleasant h6 but then queen f4 as simple as that queen f4 yeah queen f4 he he might have forgotten about this knight because now what's the so still an extra exchange for black but Exchange for the pawn plus a brilliant knight on f5. So, well, not sure if black is objectively better anymore. Plus h6 is still hanging, of course. Mm, well, so, once again, it was not a practical decision to capture on f6. That's, I'm sure. Queen f6, e5, straightforward. Huh. Well, now, if needed, black has something like king h6. Uh, king, king h8, I mean. Yeah, queen e6, and then anything like anything like capture on h6. No, decided he doesn't want it. But then rook f8 with the tempo, and yeah, rook f8. No, no, no. It's once again, it's not so clear what white gets for it. The g6 is covered, so that's yeah, rook d4. That's a, that's a very nice move, driving white pieces away further on. Now already it's possible, well it's possible to capture on e5 but then c6 falls, so one more prophylactic move is needed. And then knight, yeah knight arrives to g4, knight g4, well not easy to say what to do for black, so knight f6 is sort of a, no, no well not a threat itself but in case of something like rook f3, knight f6 would have been played. The king g7. Well, black always has an idea to capture everything on g4 and to play rook f2, but he decides he doesn't want it yet. The queen d5, queen h2, queen d4. So, so once again, g4 knight is... So now it seems that Raul forgot about this knight on g4, so black could have taken... So, well, it's not about the precise moves anymore, but just making moves in in time, I guess. That's the 
that's an objective now for both players. Ralph is down to few, few seconds really. Boris still has a bit of a time. Mm, well, and eventually he decides to go for a descent game, but I'm not quite sure if it's the right moment. Not quite sure if it's the right moment. And then b5, column b5, b3. Then well, nobody knows. Rook f2 and a4 quickly. Yeah, to create a passed pawn. That's that's very important. A side passed pawn for white and. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if black is winning here. Rook f8, that, that's a good thing. Yeah, not to capture. Yeah, that's right. King c2, it, it's... Uh -huh, now you don't have... Don't have rook f... King f5. So, rook a1, and then run with the king quickly. King c3, but white is not breaking through, it seems. Rook f1, again. Now black captures the pawn, and then it's rook f6, and very very close to a draw it seems seems to be very close to a draw check and check yeah I feel like it's almost a draw yeah well black seems nearly eliminates nearly everything yeah rook g6 king f4 yeah it's gonna be something like ah well there was a there was a nice moment which uh-huh now rook h6 d4 and then rook h6 rook g8 and that's a draw yeah that's a draw this and then rook g4 and d5 and what's that king f3 yeah yeah well it's still a draw it's still a draw Rook h8, d7, and king to d6, and it's a draw. 